Um, next, before we get started with the real business for today, we do have a, a mini icebreaker. We're going to play Jeopardy. And as you can see, we're going to split up the teams. It's going to be January through um, June on one team and then July through December on the other team. And the way it's going to work is you guys are just really just going to call it out. Just call out the answers. Um, this Jeopardy is can be a little difficult, but we're going to see how this, we're going to see how it works. So, sorry, let me delete. All right, let's start two teams. So um, to make it a little bit easier, can I have Ashton be on team one and Imani be on team two and you guys can be the spokesperson for the team? So, we, so they know. All right, great. So are they so putting their so, answers in the chat? Uh, yeah, so can you guys march that for me then? So you'll just see whenever team goes, whatever answers they pick, just go for it. All right, so we're going to start with team one. So those born from January to June, please tell me your category. And we'll start there. Wait, so you just put anybody from the month of January to June to just name something? Yeah, just pick a category and we'll go from there. We got SUAB history for 500. <laughs> oh, y'all starting out big. Let's see. Oh, All right. oh, here you That's it. <laughs> So the question is, the chat, love. <laughs> what's the name of the campgrounds ESLs normally have their summer retreat on? So this one a little, this one might be a little difficult if you don't know where we go, but this place is, we go here every year. Um, I do have an answer from someone on team one, whenever you're ready. All right, what Camp answer do they got? Camp Caraway. Let's see. Wow, okay, you know, team one starting out with 500. That's great. All right, so team two, what y'all got? Sorry about that, let me. My bad, y'all. What do y'all have, team one? Team two. SUAB events 500. All right, let's see. Who was the special guest star of Laugh Out Loud last school year? Let's see. I don't even know if I remember this one. Let's see if y'all got it. Right. I know it, but I ain't gonna say no names yet. No. What they say, Imani? <laughs> Oh, we have an answer. Okay, what's the answer? Which I got? Nate Jackson. Nate Jackson. Look at y'all. I feel like y'all cheating. Somebody gotta be cheating because ain't no way y'all knew these. It's like, no. Okay, we had the tie score right now. Moved on to the next one, team one. What y'all got? Come on, team one. Because we need to win. Can we go with um, SUAB history? For like 300. Is that good, y'all? That's all I heard. I got you. No, no, no. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. You already done clicked it. No, I can go back. I can go back. No, it's, it's, fine, okay. it's fine. It's fine. It's sure. fine. Okay. <laughs> 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 all right. So, what was SUIB uh, formerly known as? If y'all came to Org Fair, I think we already did this one too. We have an answer. What's the answer? I'm going to say what is. What is Student Union Activities Board? <laughs> okay. Y'all are getting these. I thought these were going to be hard for y'all, but never mind. I was wrong. It was a lie. Per. All right, group two. Okay, come on, gang. Let's do um, SUAB events for 400. I'm scared of the eboard fun facts I see, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead. All right, so how many vendors did we have at Aggie Bazaar last year? <laughs> this is killing me and money. I like I don't even <laughs> Oh. 
Um, okay. Uh, I'm getting different answers, team. I got to pick one answer. What answer y'all going with? I can't see the chat, so. I'm getting, can I say it out loud? Mm -hmm. Without, yeah, can okay. Y'all can talk. It's, this is free. We have six, we have seven, we have eight. Which one are we going <laughs> I don't know. Eight sound right. Like, I don't know. Well, how many? How many, was how many it eight? Answers it was, was like year? one, two. How many interns was the last year? Because it was like four interns per, per table. We're saying, okay. Be sure it's getting seven. It's between one and ten. I'm weak. I'm <laughs> Thank you so much. That was very helpful. <laughs> Wait, if they get it wrong, are we allowed to steal or no? Um, No, because they're going to see the answer. Okay. No, there's no time limit. Wow. Uh, uh, Jasmine, don't do that. We can be here for forever. <laughs> Okay, so Molly go. It's go a lot it. of sevens. I'm just so we're gonna go seven. with seven. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all are wrong. If y'all was intern last year, I'm kinda hurt because this was my event and y'all had to I work. Can't it. Even. But it's okay. It's okay. It was definitely nine. It was four on each side and then one at the end. Dang. But what was that? That was team two, right? So y'all had hundred yep. points. I'm just I'm subtracting points too. Sorry. Period. So we're going to do, well, the game looks oh, like it's okay. already over, but we're going to do, I'm going to say two more for each team, and then we're going to go on to the next games. We got Ebor Fun Facts for 500, please. Okay, okay. So which Ebor member would be a flight attendant if they didn't go to college? And there's 12 of us, so it could be any one of us. It's giving Janelle, isn't it? <laughs> No, 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 I'm giving, I have Janelle. answers. Have it's definitely answers. not giving Janelle. <laughs> <laughs> definitely I'm not, really not giving Janelle. <laughs> it's, it definitely doesn't give Janelle. It's <laughs> definitely <laughs> right. <laughs> what is I Kalia? That's, that's what y'all going with? That's Wait, what we're going with. No, 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 I feel no. like it's Faith. I feel like it's Faith. No, they said We're Kalia. going with Kalia. Kalia. Kalia, what is? in the chat. <laughs> who is Kalia? All right, yeah, we're All going right, with Kalia. Who is Kalia? What? Okay. Oh. And y'all were yeah. right. I don't know how y'all did that. Janelle and Jazz coming through. I don't know. Y'all, I feel like Ebor was helping y'all out. I don't know because that one was that one was tricky, but it's okay. We're going. I'm gonna let Team Two go, but I'm sorry, Team One looked like y'all. They blew y'all out the water. But which one y'all want to do? What are we doing, team? Let's do, let's just do something for 400. You're right. Let's you want to do 400. Let's do eboard yeah. fun facts. Yeah, because that should be history might be weak for me. I'm sorry. All right. Which eboard member has five siblings? Uriah. <laughs> Girl, it is. Not me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, I'm saying I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's process of elimination. It's not me, it's not you. It's not me either. So I mean it, it ain't Preston. <laughs> y'all, y'all cheating. Y'all supposed to be helping them. No. <laughs> it can be I, any 12 of us. Anyway, it's one in 12 chance. Well, one in eleven now since you got clear. But I feel like it could 10 seconds. Matt is giving Taylor. <laughs> I said it I mean, took it too long. Mishan said Darian you're smiling a little too hard. <laughs> okay, Mishan, that's what we're right. going with. I agree. Dar he, okay, Darian. Yeah, I Darian. No, 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 it's not Darian. It's not Darian. <laughs> <laughs> we had 10 seconds. Y'all got five Darian. seconds now. Y'all going with when, me? When the timer start, hold up. Yeah, Taylor, <laughs> Taylor or Ashton? <laughs> ding, ding, time's up. Taylor or Ashton? Darian. <laughs> Darian. <laughs> Darian, final answer. Um, Y'all are wrong. Like, Ron, thank bro. you. The you know, only people are to know me. I'm sorry. Hey. Was I'm sorry, Jaron. To negative 300. Shout out to Team One. Y'all really did that. The, was that January through June? I'm a June baby, so that was my team too. Period. We did that. That's all. That team One, come get your laptop stickers <laughs> from my desk. You guys you won. Here first. <laughs> That was hard. Uh, we are. That's a shame. I don't even remember those. That was a little something to get us started to get us broken. 
But moving on to the next thing. So um, if you guys don't know, uh, last week we did have the org fair and we had a few people come out to the org fair with us. Here are some of the responses we got from the form we had. From the first thing you guys can see that most students said they hear about our um, information through Instagram or Facebook. And that's a little weird because, you know, we promote we promote it more on like Twitter and Instagram. So the fact that Twitter wasn't even an option is an issue, in my opinion. And that's something that we should like be focusing on, making sure we're spreading out to uh, Twitter, making sure we're also posting on there a lot and posting on there frequently, even if it's just like retweeting what people already posted and just interacting with one another. That, like that does a lot and that can give us more. Uh, active. Another thing here I see is that um, some students said they would like to see us do a family feud type of event, another cypher event, because they really loved Imani's last one. And some type of table talk. So that would be under like speaker's chair, some type of information or educational talk where we can just vent to one another or have a panel come and talk to us about something. Some things we took away from the work fair. Um, as you can see on this, this is our events that we're having in February this month. We start with the full body meeting and we end with the get fit with SUAB, the Just Dance version. Um, as you guys can see next week, um, is going to be the shoot your shot week. And I'm just going to let the chair start talking about their events, starting with Sex in the Dark. Hello, everybody. This is Jazz. I'm the speaker's chair. Um, Sex in the Dark is basically a sexual education program, um, but it's not limited to just questions about sexual health. You can come and ask questions about um, pleasure, positions, just fun stuff regarding sex. And also you can ask questions about sexuality, gender identity, sexual orientation, everything. And there will be two sex parts there to answer your questions. And these questions are completely anonymous. So it won't be attached to your name. People won't know that you asked or anything. So yeah, that's essentially it. Um, and the registration link is now in the chat if you wanna register. All right, so the next event we have after Sex in the Dark will be Crush for Your Crush. And by the way, my name is Uriah, guys, and I'm novelty chair. And Crush for Your Crush is just a way, it's a cute little way for you to give a crush soda to your crush like a little pun. And then um, we dropped our flyer today for that. And the link is in our Instagram bio. And it'll be like, you can register through there. And you can pick up, pick up your crush the 11th from 12 to 4 in the student center. And then after that is the romance Netflix party. And as you can see by our cute flyer, shout out to Kalia. We'll be watching Malcolm and Marie. And that's a new Netflix movie that just came out not that long ago and then I know like last semester when we had this a lot of people had trouble like trying to figure out how to do Netflix party so we included the instructions and it's very detailed so hopefully um Miss Kiana put the chat the link in the chat by the way so hopefully you guys won't have any problems with that and learning how to figure that out and then we'll have a virtual cooking class right after that the 10th and we're collabing with Supreme Eats and they'll be making, I'm not gonna tell you guys what they'll be making cause you have to find out, but you can register for that through 1891 Connect and it's gonna be really cute. And if you guys, because of the pandemic, if you're like not trying to go out for Valentine's day and you wanna do something cute at home and like, you know, cook, you should tune in because that'll be very good. And then the 11th is the last day for Shoot Your Shot Week and we'll be in the student center for Valentine's Day pickup. And we'll have little baskets in there that you can come and get. I'll be filled with a bunch of cute little Valentine's goodies. We'll have the Crush for Crush pickup the same day. So all the Crush photos will be in there. And you can come and get that as well. We'll have massage chairs, a rose wall for you to take pictures, music. It's going to be really cute. So I hope you guys come out. Hey guys, it's Janelle and I'm cultural affairs chair and on March 16th, as many of you may know or may not know, but Mardi Gras is on Mardi Gras 2021 is on March 16th. So we're going to be ringing it in on the campus and whatnot and we're it's going to be on Zoom of course. But we're giveaways, music, a little bit of competition and whatnot and we're also going to have 
a guest storyteller coming in and giving you guys some funny stories, some historical stories and whatnot. And it's gonna be a really good time. We're also gonna be giving out, we're also gonna be handing um, incentives out and giving people you know, beads and masks to bring in with them on the day of the event. So yeah, I'm in February 16th. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. But yeah, Mardi Gras Madness is February 16th. The flyer will be coming out very soon and I hope to see you guys then. All right, and I'm pressing uh, the game in the cinema chair again. So Aggie screen time is February 19th. Um, and if you know, you've ever watched a movie or something that kind of left you like questions or like why the director, why the producer put that inside the film, um, that's essentially what Aggie screen time is. So um, it's gonna be a film centered around you know, Black History Month. So it's gonna have um, the movie's gonna be centered around Black history, a prominent, uh, significant Black history film or something like a Black uh, director, or, or like kind of Black theme. Um, and then we're going to go in depth about the different themes and the different um, scenarios and, and kind of give context to any scenarios that you, any questions you might have had with the film. I'm kind of going in depth with it. You could uh, ask questions and things like that. And then uh, February 25th is Just Dance to Get Fit edition. Um, so I know you've all played Just Dance before. Um, so now I'm trying to bring it to a virtual setting. So essentially, um, it's going to be a just dance, but you could play it from anywhere. So you can um, you can use your phone as a controller. Everybody has a phone and you can just download an app and then you can use that as a controller and you can play just dance with us, you know, get a little workout in with, inside your home and have fun and uh, enjoy and uh, have some nostalgic vibes to it. So I'm hoping to see you all there. All right, y'all. So as you can see, we do have a lot in store for just this month, and we do have more for February and March, too. Um, those will come out on a later date. So just want to make sure that you guys follow us at NKSUAB on Instagram and Twitter to get all the updates for all of our events. Look, at, as you can see, Kalia does these lovely flyers, and she's been doing a really great job with just branding the org. So yeah, we, we don't want you guys to miss out, miss out on anything we post, because we post frequently, and we post a lot of good information, too. Um, another thing that I want you guys to make sure you guys sign up for our remind as well. You can just text that code to 81010 and you'll automatically be connected to it. And we release updates weekly. So you'll hear know about our events and know about like um, how to register for the events too. Yeah. Um, does got anyone have any questions for us? And you can just come off on mute if you have any questions. You don't have to put it in the chat or anything. All right. Well, again, I want to thank you guys for coming out to our uh, full body meeting for the semester. I know it was pretty short, but we didn't really have a lot to go over. It was mainly just so you guys know what was coming up in terms of events as well as just to see everyone, see how everyone's doing. So if you guys don't have anything else to say, it was nice seeing you guys, you guys can leave. <laughs>